the API can be configured to be private, so let's see how to do that. The first step is to authorize users. Once authorized, a user creates a session and receives a token, which is then used in all requests within that session, confirming that this particular user may read or write data. Let's check the API Endpoints configuration menu to see how it looks. Open the Get Books Endpoint and look at the user session conditions. These conditions are related to the web user structure, which stores all of our app's end users. If we switch back to a default condition where an ID is not equal to zero, we close access to that endpoint for all unauthorized users. So now we save that change and go to the endpoint response preview, where now we see an error, access denied. We'll get the same error if we send a request to this endpoint from Postman. We see that the request has a parameter called session ID, and in this case, it's empty. To get the data, we must log in. You can use API for this too. Check the platform documentation. It says we need to send a POST request to a specific endpoint. We can use Postman for that. Copy the access point address. The request type is POST. And don't forget to add the app ID, which you'll find in the API keys section. The body of a request should have specified parameters for authorization. The body should be of JSON type. The first parameter is provider, and as indicated in the documentation, its value should be rest. The next parameter is the username, the ID of the object from the web user table. In this example, we're using an email as the ID. Copy and paste it into the request body. The third parameter is the password, which is stored in the web user structure in encrypted form. Let's change it to God and encrypt it. Insert the value and send. We see that the API has successfully sent us a session token in response, and we can now use that token as a parameter in all our requests. Let's go back to our endpoint, add the session ID parameter and send a request and success. The API has given us the data because we provided the right session token. Now let's see how to configure roles at the API level. Users have a role field. Let's add two comma separated user roles, admin and moderator. It's time to change the conditions in the endpoint configuration. Specify the role and select the like condition. We use like instead of equal because the roles in the user field are listed with a comma. And everything is correct. The user has the admin role in the field. If we change it to user, which isn't specified in the object, we see that access is denied, even though we've provided the session token and logged in. Similarly, you can test endpoints directly from the edit page. Click the endpoint respond preview, enter the ID of the user who's going to access this endpoint and send a request. And again, everything is correct. We have the data. We see the session that was generated automatically. There is an option to create a new user from here for example, to change an ID to the object ID, which doesn't exist yet, and make a request. Everything is correct because now we have no conditions for the user role, and the table with users has a new object.